He made this statement yesterday during his visit to Mekeo in Central Province to see scientific research on medical plants discovered by one of our Papua New Guinean scientists, Professor Topul Rally. Minister Pole, dearest Secretary Dr. Francis Hualupmomi, accompanied by staff representatives, together with some students and lecturers of University of Papua New Guinea, traveled from Port Mosby to Inawabui village in Central Province to visit the site where researches and experiments are done. Professor Topul Rally, a natural product chemist and professor of chemistry at UPNG, has done researches and discovered several interesting plants that can be processed into so many different products like perfumes, oil, butter, and many more, which can be exported to other countries to earn an income for PNG. But the scientists will drive the concept of how we are going to be rich. And the only way that will happen is when landowners like yourself who have the land, what do you cultivate on your land? How do scientists come along? and advise you on what kind of technologies are available. We process the crops we plant. So downstream processing is a key way for Papua New Guinea where scientists can be involved and then can advise the government and we will drive a way forward. However, Professor Raleigh says he lacks technology and has called on the government to support. Don Pole says, his visit was purposely to actually see what the scientist has discovered. He says he has an interest in this, not because he has the ministerial position in research science and technology, but he believes in science and knowledge. He commended the scientist, saying knowledge cannot be available to human beings if there is no research done by our scientists. I see that the availability of information, knowledge information, or making our people aware of the knowledge that is available already or selling it to those that don't know. It is a very important part of human life if we are to progress into the future. Unfortunately, Minister Polia says he will not fund money to individual test institutions in the country to carry out researches, but he will fund the money through the formal system which is under the law so that researches can be carried out and technology will be in place to develop knowledge. It must be guided by government policy through the research agenda. And then it must be managed and regulated or coordinated by the chief scientist of Papua New Guinea. Estagane, National MTV News.